Here, Doris. TV and film role, Mabel Butler, On the Buses, series 2 to 7. And spin-off films, On the Buses, Mutiny on the Buses, and Holiday on the Buses. Doris Hare was born in Bargoed, Monmouthshire, in Wales in 1905. And like her parents, brothers and sisters, she was to pursue a career in acting. Stage roles were to be followed by big screen credits and then television roles in an acting career that spanned virtually all of her life. She was to make her stage debut at the age of three and went on to appear in countless stage roles throughout her lengthy acting career. With a role in the hit musical Words and Music written by Noel Coward, other notable stage appearances came in the shows The Thing, Lights Up, Night Must Fall, Fiddler's Free, Birds of Paradise, No Sex Please We're British, Romeo and Juliet, Waters of the Moon, It Runs in the Family and Forty Years On, amongst many others. She reached the pinnacle as a stage actress, working for the coveted Royal Shakespeare Company and National Theatre, as well as appearing in the West End and on Broadway in many hit productions. Hare progressed on to big screen roles in the 1930s with appearances in Opening Night, Night Mail, Lock of the Navy and the Musical Discoveries. The 1940s brought roles in the comedy film She Couldn't Say No, Here Comes the Huggets and The History of Mr. Polly, with her film career continuing on into the 1950s. In that decade, she was to appear in Dance Hall, Fought to Kill, Double Exposure, Tiger with a Tail, and the star-studded war drama Another Time, Another Place. In the 1960s, she was to have credits in the classic comedy film The League of Gentlemen and quality drama A Place to Go. Aside from her roles in all three On the Buses spin-off films, she was also to appear in three of the Confessions sex comedy films. Her film career came to a close in the 1990s with parts in the hit British comedy film Nuns on the Run and a small part in the award-winning drama Second Best. She could also boast a career on television that offered roles in hit dramas such as Colonel March of Scotland Yard, Douglas Fairbanks Jr. Presents, The Avengers, No Hiding Place, The Saint, Dixon of Doc Green, Coronation Street, Landon Hopkirk Deceased and Nanny amongst others. Comedy roles spread over three decades came in classic series such as The Benny Hill Show, On the Buses, The Secret Diary of Adrian Mole, age 13 three quarters, The Growing Pains of Adrian Mole, Never the Twain and Stuff. Her career also included roles in several hit comedy series on radio and in 1941 she was to be awarded an MBE. She finally retired from acting in 1995 before passing away in 2000 at the care home for retired actors and actresses, Denville Hall, in Northwood, Middlesex at the age of 95. During the height of the huge popularity of On the Buses, Doris lived with her husband John in a flat overlooking the Thames at Putney Bridge. Although she would normally be chauffeur driven around in a Rolls Royce, Doris loved to travel aboard buses and then the underground to get to the LWT studios at Wembley. She found those journeys very heartwarming as she would mingle with Cockney women that she had modelled her character Mrs Butler on and enjoyed the fact that they were able to identify with her and her screen character. Doris held a great deal of respect for Reg Varney and his work ethic which allowed his fellow co-stars to be funny as well. She also valued the On The Buses code of conduct that there was no swearing in the series. It was her belief that there was too much swearing on TV and in films at that time which she found unnecessary. Doris could always lay claim to being a specialist in double entendre but this was far removed from the bad language she hated.